Hey, Jenny Stevens. So this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a lookalike audience on Facebook to be able to use um, use lookalike audiences just to be able to find more people that are like, whether it be people who've engaged with your page, leads, customers. So it's a great way to be able to find more people using Facebook ads with a lookalike audience. So I'm just gonna share my screen. Okay, so we are inside of a uh, Facebook business uh, business manager and then you want to come along to the audiences um, bit so if you're not if you don't know where to go then the little burger icon menu thingy here then if you come to all tools and then click on audiences okay so once you're in there then um, obviously these are all the ones that I've created so you may you may have some you may not so <laughs> to create a new lookalike audience, if you come along to create audience and then you've got lookalike audience here. So what you can do, you can um, you can add in here um, any, so like these are Facebook pixels, so this is going to be people that are like that. Um, but actually the easiest thing to do initially is you'll want to go and create a load of um, custom audiences okay so if you go and do that first before you actually create your custom audience then it's going to be a lot easier so there's some ones that you'll want to create initially so you can actually create a load of people who have engaged with your Facebook page okay so if you click on that you have got uh, video lead form I don't really use this um, full screen experience so that's uh, I think that's a new one actually. Uh, Facebook page, so people have um, created a list of people who've interacted with your page. You've got Instagram and events. So it's really cool. So you can go in there and do video, and then you can actually choose here people who have watched, you know, certain percentage of your video. So I recommend that you create a different custom audience for each one of these. Um, so let's just do this for now. Now, the annoying thing is you have to actually choose your videos, which is quite frustrating. It's a shame you can't actually just have them all. So you will need to actually go in and select the videos that you want. Obviously, it gives you some date if you need to, um, you know, if you only want the last, I don't know, three months or whatever, you can do that. So you need to actually then select the videos and then it's going to, um, it's going to then add them to it. So yeah, unfortunately you can't just choose all videos. You've got to select them, which is a pain. So I hope Facebook is watching and they actually change that. So then once you've done that, um, let's just do... I'll just, I'll delete this now. So I've just got a few videos now and then I'll just hit confirm. So now we've got the videos in there, okay? Um, now you can choose, again, you might want to do this a couple of times. You've got different ones. So you can actually create, so you might want to have your most recent people who have engaged with your video. So maybe you want to do one custom audience where it's the last 30 days. Maybe you want to do 90 days um, or 180 days. So it's up to you what you do. I've got a few. So yeah, I've got ones that's kind of recent. I tend to go 180 days as like my maximum. Um, but again, it's up to you what you want to do with it. And then give it a name. So just call it what it is, a video views 95 percent 180 days for example or maybe you've got different kind of topics of videos and you want to split it out that way so you could have um i don't know videos social media tips um uh, maybe you've got videos you know whatever different maybe you do some different things you, you could um split it up that way if you want to so then just give it a name um i'm just going to call this video test so that i know to be able to delete it um, and then create audience. <clears throat> so now that you've got that custom audience done, um, so now you can actually then it says, it gives you the option to then create an ad with that audience. But before we do that, I'll just show you a few of the different things that you can do. So we'll go to create a custom audience, go back to engagement, um, Facebook page, so this is now any, so you've got now everyone who is engaged with your page. You could have everybody. So I basically recommend that you create a custom audience for each of these options. So anyone who's visited your page, anyone who's engaged with a post or ad, 
clicked on a button, sent you a message, saved your page or a post. So go through and create these different custom audiences for each of these things. And again, you might wanna do ones where you've got longer time and shorter time. So it shouldn't take you too long, but once you've done this, it's set up and it's um, dynamics, which means, you know, so it will keep updating based on those you know, amount of days you've set and whatever. So you don't have to keep going into this and updating it, which is cool. If you want to, you can even include more things, exclude things, which is cool. And again, just give it a name and do that. So that's kind of the things you want to create for your Facebook page. You can also create custom audiences for, um, so you've got website traffic. So if you've got your own website, you can again create um, you know, so you've got people who visited specific pages, visitors by time spent on your blog or website visitors. So again, you can do that based on the number of days. So I recommend that you do that as well. Um, and then you can also do a file. So maybe you have, uh, maybe if you're not using Facebook ads much yet to generate leads or customers, but maybe you're doing some affiliate marketing or something, or you've got some kind of system where you've got um, some leads that you have generated. You can actually, you know, so if, if you're using um, an autoresponder, you could actually export a list of leads or customers or something and then upload it basically. Um, if you're, but once you're using Facebook advertising with your own pixel to generate leads, then you actually don't need to do that. You can just use um, the pixel from here, which I'll show you. So you can add your own file and it basically walks you through how to upload it. So it's super easy. So again, you've got, I do the manual things for customers where I've got, um, you know, if I'm doing any affiliate marketing, I've got a customer list um, or anything, you can do that, which is cool. So there's lots of things you can do. Um, so I've even, you know, I've created some custom audiences for specific blog posts that I run Facebook ads to. Um, you can know, see I've got, then I've got all these lookalikes. So that's the custom audiences. So that's the first thing you need to do. Once you've done that, now you can then create the lookalike audience. So let's kind of come back to, um, the purpose of this video. So then in the source, now you can actually choose these custom audiences. Um, so here are my custom audiences. So I've got my three second views. These are some specific leads I was doing. Um, here's the blog post ones I've created. Um, so basically here's all, all of the ones I have created, button clicks, um, leads, I've got, um, message, you know, page engagements, um, here's all my video ones. So now you can actually start choosing the audience that you want, which is really cool. So once you've done that, so let's just say I want video views, um, you can then add in the countries that you want. So you can add in whatever countries that you do. So I tend to do um, the English speaking countries. So it's UK, US, Canada are like my main three on an island. Um, they're like my main four ones that I do. I do Australia as well sometimes. And then what you'll want to do, so now you've got this, which basically is your percentage of countries. So the most qualified people that are gonna be more like the people that have watched your videos is the 1%, so you wanna do that one. Um, I would basically make, that's the main one you're gonna to want to use for your ads, but you can you can go up to kind of two or 3%, which then makes it a bigger audience. You can see now from 1% to 2%, it's jumped from 2.8 million to 5.6 million, and again, three is 8.5 million. So, um, but basically the smaller the percentage, the higher, um, you know, the better quality they should be in terms of, more likely the people that you're doing. So it's great when you're doing um, a lookalike audience based on leads or customers, it's brilliant. So you can find more people that are like that. But for you know for this, we're gonna do engagement. So then once you've done that, um, you can then create your audience. Now, one thing to know is you need to have 100, especially if you're doing leads or customers, you need to have 100 per, for the same country in order to do that, but it will tell you whether you've got it or you haven't. So if I then do, um, and then again, I would, uh, does it give you a name there? Do create audience. 
yeah so now this is telling me the source is too small so I, I yeah I haven't done as many videos lately um, so I yeah and it tells you please choose a source that includes at least 100 people in the same country so um, if you don't have enough it will tell you um, so definitely if you are really wanting to utilize video views you know and these are people that have watched 95 percent of my videos so that's a really high quality prospect that you want so if you really want to get that done then obviously do more videos boost them to your you know your fan page or whatever um so yeah there's just that's just how you do it it's really really easy and then once you've created it then when you create your ad then you just select that lookalike audience that you have done which is really cool so it's really um you know it's really a powerful tool just you know just need to take a bit of time just to go through and create those custom audiences first and then you can then have your lookalike audience based on video views based on leads based on sales based on people who've engaged with your Facebook page, all right? So I hope that tutorial helps. If you've got any questions, feel free to pop them below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.